So you might be trying to figure out how you can use Grok. Grok is a, basically it's a understand the universe. It's a type of AI assistant that is very similar to like DeepSeek, Gemini, or, you know, ChatGPT. It's one of those types of applications. And it's really cool. It's pretty awesome. It's just another one of these AI assistants as claimed here. So I'll go and show you exactly how you can go through and essentially go ahead and use this application. Number one, you want to download this app. This is essentially what it looks like. And you can go through and open it up just like any other application. So when you do that, you can go and open it up just like this. And then you're going to see at the very top, there's going to be this Grok 3 option up here, which you can always tap on. You can always change it out. So you can always change it from Grok 3 to Super Grok if you want to pay for it. But this one is probably a good enough one for a lot of people. The top left will show you this two lines here. You can tap on it here. You can have a you know specific chat with you know Grok if you want to go and just tap onto here. You can also have your account information at the very bottom that you can go and kind of mess around with. Copying back out the very top. If you click on the top right, you'll see this option. This is private mode. So now you can start chatting with Grok in private mode. And this is another really cool thing that you can basically do here as well. Tapping back out of here, if you want to start chatting specifically with Grok, you can go ahead and start talking to it. So you'll have this ask anything button right here. You can go and tap into here and you can ask it for anything, right? So if I wanted to tap to it, I can say like, make a photo, whatever, make a photo of a dog or something like that. I can go and kind of just say something and I can just ask it to do random tasks. So it's very similar to ChatGPT in that sense where you can just kind of like, you know, recommend it and kind of say things to it. And then it will start just recommending things randomly. So you can see it'll start generating things. It will start doing things that I ask it to do. There's really an unlimited amount of options here. Now you can always stop a task if you click on the stop button. It'll just go and stop it for you, which is pretty cool. You can always go through and still continue to chat to it, talk to it. You have this deep search button. If you want to enable deep search, which will just kind of tailor the search a little bit more from that standpoint, which is pretty cool. You can also click on the think button right here too, where, where it will just go through and just think about things and it will just go and kind of you know, enable you know either one. And if you want a little bit more of a thoughtful approach, you can choose one, enable it. it. might take a little bit more time, but that's an option you have. Once the image is generated or the photo is generated, you'll have the option of downloading the photo or you can go through and like click on the save button, share this photo out, click thumbs up or thumbs down. You have that type of capability too. If you want to, you can also go through and you can click on the little paperclip icon right here and you can attach things to these files. You can attach a camera if you want to take a photo, the photos, like application, files. You can create an image, edit an image right here too. So this is another really cool thing that you have the option of kind of messing around with in this particular situation as well. So that is in and of itself another really cool thing going on here. If you want to, you can also click on the little you know voice option right here and it will allow you to talk to Grok. So you can go through and you can allow microphone, you can allow search recognition or speech recognition. So you have that type of capability too right here, which is another really cool thing to kind of mess around with here. So at the core, that's basically how you use Grok. You can chat with it. You can do a lot of things with it here too, but that's essentially how you go ahead and use this particular application. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.